If you're making cold process soap, but then your soaps are very, very soft. So why? One of the reasons is probably because of the oils that you're using. So when you're making cold process soap, you want to make sure that you have the hardening oils and you also have the conditioning oil. So hardening oils are things like coconut oil, shea butter, palm oils, and so on. While the conditioning oils are like olive oil, avocado oil, and so on. Now, if you're using too much of one of those oils, it especially the conditioning oils, it's going to make your soap to be very, very soft. One of the things that you have to do is just make sure that go through soap calculator, like the ones that we have in our website, go through it and then down there, you can actually see the proper balance, how much of which oil you're supposed to use and go from there. Number two is probably because you're using too much of water. So now most of the time when I'm making cold process, I usually make sure that the amount of water that I'm using is maximum at 2 or 2.5 of sodium hydroxide and nothing more. Because the longer, the more water that you put, you have to wait longer time for it to cure or dry. Number three is it's probably because you are not waiting for the curing time. If you are new to cold process soap, you have to understand that cold process soap requires time for you to cure it. Which means that you have to wait for a while and uh, maybe like four weeks to six weeks before you can use the soap because we are waiting for the water that you're using in the cold process soap to evaporate out. So you have to give it time to dry up. Number four is probably the extracts or the excipients that are using. Let's say if you're using extracts or fragrance oil or essential oil or whatsoever like that, if you might be putting too much of it inside and because of that, it's actually interacting with things inside or even then it might also soften your soaps. So the best thing to do is make sure that like for me i make sure that everything i'm going to put in is nothing more than five percent of the whole soap because the more i put in the softer it's going to be and lastly make sure that you mix the soap properly because there's a lot of times whereby we will be thinking that it's already traced which means it's already mixed properly but it's actually not so just make sure that it's properly traced before you even pour it into the mold. So I hope this helps and if you wanted to know further more about formulation or want to do this for business, do join our soap making class that is coming up. So if you wanted to know more, do WhatsApp. So I hope this helps and if you have any other questions, do comment below. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.